Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. As you can tell, I'm not in my vehicle. I'll explain that in just a minute. Without further ado, let's get this show on the road. Well, guys and gals, I got a special one coming for you today. And there might be a couple of videos made out of it. We'll see how this goes. I, uh, I answered a question correctly on another channel. And my prize... <laughs> <laughs> was a guided fishing trip with this guy right here Darren Davidson Outdoors so I jumped in the truck jumped at the opportunity jumped in the truck, drove for three hours and here I is we're going to hang out for the weekend we're going to try and put together a video or two for you and uh, we're going to see if we can get a fish or two so we're just headed out tonight after some walleye right just down the street from his house walking so, it half away <laughs> how does it get any better than that so we're uh, we're gonna get after it here. We'll see you when we're out on the water. <laughs> All right, guys and gals, I told you we'd see you on the water. We've been out for about a half an hour. I'm not gonna lie. And Darren's hooked up. We don't know what it is yet, but we decided to do a little bit of trolling around. And uh, bit real soft. Just oh, get a little wally. Oh, bad, bad net job. <laughs> Sorry. <we got> <laughs> Oh, first walleye. Nice. nice. First fish of the trip. Told we'll take it. Worm harnesses work. Yeah, they sure do. A little, but. Oops. <laughs> Pay attention, Wyatt. I was filming your knees, not the freaking fish. <laughs> All right, guys and gals. Oh. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Hold that up again there, Darren. We'll get a little. I think I can take a snapshot there. Perfect. All right, get the release or? Yeah, I was gonna say it's a little small. A little small, but. There you go, get bigger. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. On the board. On the board. All right, stay tuned. I gotta get a little bit of, okay guys, we've been trolling around for about another hour. We hadn't had any hits. I just caught my first ever saw guy. How cool is that? <laughs> cool. All right, I don't... black blotches are like, oh, he's gonna be happy. <laughs> yeah, that is so cool, man. I've never caught that species of fish, a new species of fish. That's awesome. Same thing as a walleye. Yeah, it's definitely. A... All right, I'm not gonna mess around here too, too long. I want to get him unhooked and get him back in. A little bit too small for a for a meal. I think we'll let him get bigger. Actually, maybe. Can you handle <laughs> two cameras at once? Two cameras right? at once. Yeah. Let's see if I can do this without. Oh, I'm gonna drop the net. That's all right. Let's see if I can do this without. Uh, there we go. Perfect. <laughs> mm -hmm. That is awesome. It doesn't quite have the white tip, so it's a sauger. <laughs> it's a sauger? Yeah. Okay. Very cool. All right, let's get him back in. I don't want to mess around too much here. There he goes. <laughs> All right. All right, guys and gals, stay tuned. Well, guys and gals, that's the end of the first day. I haven't fully decided what I'm going to do as far as videos yet. I might put today and tomorrow on the same one. We'll see. It was an awesome day, though. Auger. Now we're gonna motor into the boat launch, go get some grub, get some sleep for an early start tomorrow. Stay tuned. Morning guys and gals, it's the next morning. I'm gonna run day one and day two together. Uh, day one was an absolute blast. Uh, quick little recap, uh, I got in the night before. Um, Darren had to do a run. He's a trucker by profession, so he had to do a quick run in the morning. Got that looked after, went out, set some minnow traps, which we'll check on the way for today. Um, and then we went out on Lake Temiskaming, and uh, he got a nice little walleye, and I got my first ever sauger. We reviewed the footage and 
had a better look at it and, and uh, it was my first sauger so that was that's pretty cool I'm pretty it's already been an awesome trip but this morning we're on our way to Lady Evelyn Lake Woo! yeah <laughs> we were expecting big things but either way we're gonna have a great time um, I'll show you the minnow traps when we get to that part and then the next time you'll see us after that we'll be at the lake so stay tuned well guys and gals We'll see, hopefully nobody borrowed them. And I see the rope for this one. So that's a good sign. This is where we put a couple of minnow traps in. And, oh, I think I see the minnow trap there too. So both minnow traps are here. That's a good sign. Well, that's good. Sign, sign. Grab that minnow pail. <sighs> here, hand me that camera of yours and I'll hold it while you bring that yeah. in. <sighs> Sorry about the footage there for a second. See if I can get a little better angle here. Bastard smoking. Yeah. We saw tracks down there and yep. somebody took the minnows out of the trap. One minnow and two, three crawfish. And part of the reason we know that they took the minnows out is there's no bread in that trap. Nope. Son of a, see, we thought this could happen. Those crayfish would make good bait. <laughs> yeah, we should actually. <laughs> Crayfish would probably kill the. Yeah, we may as well put them back. Uh, bites my ankle. All right. <laughs> Dirty, <laughs> rotten. See, I don't know why people do that, man. That just irritates me. I would imagine this one's going to be empty too, but because you can see where the sand is kicked up. the same yeah we brought minnows with us because we kind of thought this could happen even little pee -pee 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 -pee. <laughs> I'll beat myself. yeah oh, oh no one. they didn't get this one they didn't get this one good all right guys and gals we'll see you at the lake Welcome to Lady Evelyn Lake. Well, actually, Lady Evelyn Lake is okay. that way. This is the Montreal this River. This is the Montreal River. Well, yeah. not just this. Yeah. <laughs> it's huge. It's, <laughs> it's long. But this is a part of the Montreal River. So we're going gonna, we're gonna to go up through those narrows. We're going to get the boat untied, get this thing launched, and... The next part of this video is going to be something really cool because there's a dam crossing and there's a gentleman there that puts your boat on a trailer, takes you across the dam and puts you in on the other side. So that'll be a new experience. I'll have to film that for you all. So stay tuned for that. Well, there's the dam and that green truck. There's the gentleman that brings you up and over the portage. So he just brought somebody back this way. So we're gonna wait our turn and we're gonna see if we can sweet talk them into taking us over. <laughs> Darren, show a little leg. <laughs> All right. I'll. Uh, I don't want to film these folks too much. I don't know if they'll like it. So when we get over there a little closer, we'll. I'll turn you back on. <laughs> so here we are this is the first time i've been across here so darren was telling me about it but that's what my son's name is darren oh is it yeah and you're nobody 
Nobody? <laughs> Nobody? Pleasure to meet you. <laughs> I'm Miles. Miles, nice to meet you, Miles. I'm Wyatt. Miles from nowhere. <laughs> yeah. Don't even get out of the boat, guys. Yeah, don't even get out of the boat. <laughs> this is so friggin' cool. <laughs> special kind of specially built trailer. Just about any boat will go on it. Yeah. Dam's right over that way. You can't really see it, but and miles from nowhere, he's pulling us up the hill. Farts unknown. Farts unknown. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, this is a new experience for me, man. <laughs> right, so it's either this or flying. Darn the mosquitoes, eh? <laughs> We're deep in deep country, boys. <laughs> mosquitoes and black flies, man. You get out of that wind and hee haw. You are a meal. Yeah, that's all Miles does pretty much all day is just. Back and forth. The canoe goes in there? Yeah, if you're bringing a canoe. Okay. <laughs> this is pretty wild, man. What a beautiful little setup he's got, eh? Oh. Old Northern Ontario guard dog. Everybody's got a black lap. <laughs> Morning. You're going the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> the water's that way. <laughs> First time across. Oh, really? <laughs> oh his. His, my. I've been up here a few times. <laughs> <laughs> True professional, eh? One shot. One shot. <laughs> no monkeying around. We're at, we are now at officially at Lady Evelyn. Lady Evelyn River. You got another guy at the launch down below, so. Thank you, sir. You're a gentleman and a scholar. Yeah. Thank you. You too. Hey, pup. Wish us luck. <laughs> <laughs> How cool was that, guys and gals? <laughs> All right. We'll turn you back on when we're fishing. I think we've got a little bit of a run there. Yeah, we're going to go about nine kilometers down the river and to the lake. Okay. We'll turn you back on when we get to where we're headed. Okay, guys and gals, we came up with a plan of attack. Darren's gonna slow troll this worm harness. Yeah, with a minnow. With we're a minnow. Okay, worms. <laughs> yeah, worm harness with a minnow, but whatever. I'm gonna throw around stuff like this. Drink baits. This flicker shad, some rapalas, maybe some spoons. We're gonna work the shoreline. There's pike, walleye, bass, all kinds of stuff in here. 
And if we happen to come across something on the fish finder, a deeper hole that's loaded with fish, well, we'll, we'll slow down, switch gears, drop some jigs down and see what happens. But for now, we're gonna work the shoal, or excuse me, the shore. Yeah, we got and, a big flat uh, right up in here. There's a big, like Darren said, there's a big flat up in here. So we're gonna work this around and see what happens. So stay tuned. I don't know what it is, but... What has a fish on? First fish of the day, folks. First fish of the trip. Oh, oh, big, oh, big old bass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice. that GoPro's running. Can you see if that GoPro's running? A little red light or whatever? Uh, yeah, something's on there. Oh, good, good. That's a good bass. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Net. Sorry, bad net job trying to film them. And well, that's okay. There's a big old bass. That's a nice bass. And they are open here, so. Uh, my pliers. I got some handy. Hold on, folks. Sorry, gotta. I still got the trolling motor going here. So. Okay. Big old bass. Try not to get stuck. It's so one thing these rappel is, man. They'll catch fish. But you gotta watch those travel hooks, guys and gals. You do not want to get. Come out of there. Just watching the shoreline, see him down. I think they will get either a walleye or bass along the shoreline. And... It's not even in there that bad. Why is that? Oh, there you go. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, that one hook does not want to come out. Sticky shark. Yep. There we go. All right. Oh, how about that, guys? In the house. There you go. Beautiful. <laughs> My line's still dragging on. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, all right, we'll get spin around. There it goes. Oh, first fish on Beauty. <laughs> Beauty Lake. I was gonna say, no, we're not, Lady Evelyn. <laughs> Didn't get that on. Sorry, folks, I didn't get that on film. But uh, fish just hit, and I got the first walleye. Here, give me that. Yeah, let's see if it's a slot or not. Yeah. What was it? 40, 40 centimeters. Uh, yeah, below forty, I think it yeah. was. So we can keep her. It's below forty. It's what is it? Thirteen. Yeah, 13 inch. Oh, here, let me show you. <laughs> 13, definitely in the slot, or right, under below, the slot. under the slot, I mean, yeah. So we are keeping that. <laughs> right on. Look at that. I love the colors. Woohoo! <laughs> I'd echo it. Don't tell everybody. All right, we'll get that on the stringer. And... Yep. <laughs> All right. I got Wally number two. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, okay, we got her. Oh, got her? Okay. Sorry, I had to set down the camera. We were trying to get him on snag, and then just as that happened, <laughs> this guy hit my line. I'm like, oh, hold on. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get him off, probably on the stringer. It's definitely under the slot size, so we can eat him. Check this out, ladies and gentlemen. Canadian icon. Yep. A loon right beside the boat. That's awesome. If there's loons, there's bait fish. Yeah, they're diving for diving for bait, so lots of little specks on the screen. It looks like there's bait fish up there. This is what we've been in all day so far. It's a little afternoon now, guys and gals. Ain't gonna lie, the fishing's been tough. But we're having a blast and we're gonna keep fishing and we'll bring it back when we see something. 30 seconds later. <laughs> it's on the board where the wallet, but it might this, be slot. I don't know. We're gonna have to measure this one. Sorry I didn't get that one. It might be on the GoPro, guys. I don't know if the GoPro started. Um, so we're gonna get him unhooked and uh, and we'll get him measured here and see. Hold on a sec. There we go. Can't grab 
something under so you know what yeah spiked again all right let me see if i can hang on a second. actually maybe if yeah. i can get do you mind darren sorry okay now i got two cameras going <laughs> side by each <laughs> and we're gonna measure them it's 40 centimeters is what you're allowed oh he is too Look at that. Is that no? Is that the zero there? No, come back a little bit. There? No, back your way. Oh, my way, yeah. Okay. And uh, we're good. 14 and a quarter. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> there. We definitely have some shore lunch now. Right on. <laughs> Perfect. I got the net. I'm going to try and do this, guys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So kill them and bring them <laughs> I've got to go oh <laughs> the oh, biggest stick roll of geez. the trip I got it all excited real don't <laughs> hold up the branch how many lures are on that thing? I don't know we're gonna have a look <laughs> <laughs> we've been catching these all day so. oh man yeah that's the biggest yet though yeah that's the biggest <laughs> yet huge yes right there <laughs> that's okay. like trying to go straight <laughs> One more for the boat. We're going to uh, put him back, though. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Oh, uh, shoot. <laughs> He's going to get his camera. Yeah. Off. Okay, guys and gals. I didn't get this one on film either. It's been kind of like we go a little while, get a fish, and then go a little while, get another fish. <laughs> There's my second walleye of the day. And that's going to be, if he doesn't measure out, that's going to be our shore lunch. We've got four fish, and that saves us uh, being able to catch four more this evening yeah. on the way out. So, because here in Ontario, you have to count your shore lunch as a part of your daily catch. So. Right. We got two walleye each, so. Yep. We so we get can a each... couple more later uh, on our way back. So. Yep. All right. We'll call it a day here. We're going to go find the campsite to cook the shore lunch. Yep, we're going to go find our shore lunch spot. Stay tuned. All right, guys and gals, we pulled up to a, uh, is it like a campsite? Yeah, it is. It's a single campsite. It's made for one tent. But it's part of like, if you wanted to use this, you'd have to book it through. Nope. Nope? Nope. This, we're is, on, just... this is crown land here. Okay. So yeah, on the other side of the narrows is all the park. Oh, okay. Lady Evelyn Park. Okay. It's still crown land. So anyway, there's a single campsite here, and we were coming along. We knew it was uh, Darren knew it was here, so we were gonna come here and just have our shore lunch. And when we pulled up, we saw all this, this chair, stuff over and garbage under the table there. We thought someone was camping here, but we couldn't see a tent or anything, so. We put the boat in over down the shoreline a little bit, decided to walk over. If there was somebody tending here, we didn't want to invade their privacy, so called out a couple of times. Nobody answered. We came, and it's just people have left garbage, essentially. When you're visiting the outdoors, guys and gals, don't leave your friggin' garbage. Like, obviously, this thing is a mess, like... I don't know. I mean, I guess the towels could have been oops, I forgot, but because they look like they were hung up to dry, but I don't know. It's just. Not a happy camper when I come across stuff. Like that. Yeah, clean up your messes. Even <laughs> yeah. this kind of stuff, like people have been camping here. There's a rope. They've tied up something, but instead of undoing the rope, cut the rope, leave the rope hanging in the tree. You know, like there's no need of that. It's. <laughs> Yes, exactly. So, anyway, we're going to go back over to where the boat is. Grab our lunch. Have our lunch. It is now, what, about 2.30 and 3 o'clock in the afternoon? Three Five to three. Five to three. So, we're going to have lunch. Stay tuned. Well, guys and gals, there's our shore lunch. We're just going to have battered fish we brought along some fish crisp we brought the little butane stove <laughs> oh yeah there we 
do it up north. Well, guys and gals, oh, hot. <laughs> Nothing like fresh walleye. Wow. Oh, thanks, Darren. Glad you're enjoying it. Oh, man, what a trip. <laughs> so far, awesome. We still got another day to go yet. I know. <laughs> mm. bite. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's so good. Next time you see us, we'll be out on the lake. <laughs> Check that out, guys. I'm going to try and zoom in here. I was, oh my God, amateur hour. I was just talking for like a minute and a half about that that white pine. Where's my finger? That white pine growing out of the rock. Like, flat rock. How old is that tree? Like, there's no way it's getting a, an abundance of nutrients there. Even when you look at these little birches or poplar or whatever they are, like they're just, it's a flat rock for crying out loud. But that, that pine is just something else. That's yeah. hundreds wild. of years old. Hundreds of years old. It would have to be. Like look at, look here, get like, here's some more coming up. Like, look at that. You're going to see the roots are exposed on the bottom. Right on a rock face. Anyway, I thought I'd show you guys that. I thought it was pretty neat. Yeah. Goodbye, Lady Evelyn. Oh, Montreal River soon. <laughs> oh, Miles is taking us back to the Montreal River. And we're gonna do some fishing there, so stay tuned. Okay, guys and gals, this is unreal. We were just talking about where we were going to go. We're literally just drifting down the Montreal River here. It, my lure was hanging over the sink. Goodness, I had a hold of the freaking rod. Look at the oh, size. Look at the size of this bass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a big oh my goodness. Something grabbed mine. I, it took my bait. And then all of a sudden, he's like, there's a fish. <laughs> I was like, holy oh, moly. Bass, same thing. <laughs> <laughs> holy crap. Can you grab that for me there? We'll do the release real quick. Yeah. Mm. Meanwhile, mine's still trolling. I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't need to hold this one that close. To yeah, the we're making fun of it. That is a good, like, pound and a half, pound and three quarters, maybe. Uh, almost two pounder, that one. And there he goes. Love he goes. <laughs> there you go. Told you the night wasn't over. Stay tuned, guys and gals. Oh, yeah. This light is hooked up. We've got two cameras rolling here. I'm going to have to... I'll put down my camera. Oh, a little hand on the pike. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I need to probably just... Pike. First pike of the day. Come here, you little snot rocket. <laughs> Nice. Here, we'll just do this. Release. Bye bye. <laughs> Perfect. Right on. Oh. <laughs> well, guys and gals, that's going to be our day on Lady Evelyn and the Montreal River. Had an awesome time. We've had a fantastic couple of days, and we still have one more day. So, with that being said, thank you very much for coming along. If you made it this far, smash that like, hit the subscribe, share it out, and remember, it's never a bad day to be more outdoors. <laughs>